we're doing this again. I'm doing it again. Tick number 10. You know what? Oh my god, I'm on the verge to repeating my intro again. Uh, okay, okay, I'm not gonna repeat anymore. I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue, okay? You know what? I'm gonna repeat. You can do this. You can do this. Repeating my intro video for the 14th time. Again. Hey, Seisha, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry that I've been missing for like ages, but here I am doing another video. Again, so um, because I'm just too broke to afford new clothes for my fashion video, somehow mm -hmm. um, I decided to make a zero budget video, which is this skincare routine video that I'll be sticking to for a week straight. And let's hope that it's gonna save my face because I have some serious skin issue because I don't stick to a skincare routine and I don't really take care of my face properly. Um, yeah, so because of my laziness, uh, this is what happened. So I want to fix this two issue, uh, the dehydrated face and acne prone face which is here. I'm actually quite dumb. I don't even know what to do for a skincare routine. I don't know what product do I put on my face. Based on Google, I found this photo here. I'm definitely gonna, not gonna follow this entire stupid steps but following some of the steps like cleansing, toning, putting eye cream, um, serums, and moisturizer. Uh, I just try to like understand a little here and there. Like for cleansing, we all should know why you need to clean your face, right? It's to remove dirt, remove your makeup, and your excess sebums. I'm definitely going to put on toner, and instead of just putting a layer of toner, I'm going to switch to a different method. I don't know if you guys heard of this before, but it's called the Seven Skin Method. It's the Korean latest beauty trend and why do they even name this? It's because it's 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 actually because I don't know. Here's what Google told me. Seven skin method is layering your face with toner for seven times and your skin will get to absorb more of the hydrating ingredients, ultimately giving you hydrated and healthy skin. I'm totally just copying this entire shit from Google. Anyway, the next step is serum. Serums helps to hydrate my skin as well and it doesn't just hydrate on the like what do you call this on the oh my god I need to go to this one. Uh, so serum doesn't just hydrate your skin like on the surface it actually goes deep into your skin and hydrate them and it has a super high concentration of active ingredient okay enough of this stupid bullshit and then you need to put on eye cream I didn't know that eye cream is that important until I read this shit they say that eye creams are formulated specifically for the delicate skin around the eye so many times we take it, blah 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 um, just read it from here up after putting eye cream what you need to put next is moisturizer it's just to lock the moisture so that like whatever you put on your face won't like just fade off like that Thank God, I don't need to repeat my intro again. Okay. Yeah. okay, I got my sheet here. I feel like me with makeup and no makeup is like no difference. I still look pathetic, but it's okay. It's okay. Okay, so first steps. Oh wait, I forgot I need to remove my contact lens. <laughs> okay, so first steps is to cleanse my face. I'm using the aloe vera cleansing gel foam and aloe vera has a lot of benefits like it helps to moisturize your face, it soothes your face, it lightens red spots as well. Okay, I'm done cleansing my face and I kind of like wet my sleeves. Oh my god, this oh, it feels so icky. Oh. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to change it to my PJs. Definitely retarded, but it's okay. Since today is sort of my day one for this routine, I'm going to exfoliate my skin. The good thing for exfoliating, right, is that it helps to get rid of your dead skin cells. 
and after exfoliating, it's better for your face because serum or essences that you'll be putting on your face, it will be easier to absorb and it'll be more effective. I don't know what I'm saying, but I hope you guys get it. I'll be using something that I got from Korea years ago. Okay, it's not expiry yet. It's April. I still got one more month. <laughs> okay, so my next step will be toning the aqua force lotion l for this step i'm applying seven layers of it so first layer just spread it over then just pat 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 make sure your skin stuck in all the goddamn toner second layer oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. okay fourth layer okay i swear this takes a lot of effort oh wait before i continue with my layering I just want to say that it's better to find a toner that is alcohol free so that it doesn't irritate your face which is why I'm using this one because it's alcohol free now I'll be using serum I recently got this clinic serum come on you stupid bitch okay 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 so I'm gonna apply like two layers of serum. And the next step that I'm going to do is to put on eye cream. I am using this one. This is a sample from Lummer. Oh my god, my hand is too slippery. Oh my god. Why do they seal this so tight? Okay, 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 okay. It's out, it's out. Okay, so just rub this around my eye. Lastly, I'll be applying moisturizer. Okay, so I'm using the Aqua Force Moisture L from Obis again. One layer of this to lock in all the moisture on my skin. Now I am officially done for day one. So, um, apparently something tragic happened to my face. I actually have a new pimple today, so it's here. I haven't been drinking sufficient amount of water so that's probably why I'm having all these volcanoes Okay, so this sums up the end of my one week skincare routine but I have to be honest, I wasn't consistent throughout this week at all. In fact, on day 4, I totally gave up on this routine but I still continue on on day 5 onwards but I also cut down on my skincare steps. Instead of layering 7 times of toner, I changed to 3 and serum 2 to 1 so it is obvious to say that I will not get any pleasing result by the end of this week okay so bringing back my two main goals firstly is to get healthier and hydrated skin secondly is to improve my blemishes I didn't manage to um, solve that issue but my skin complexion actually improved a lot and it's more hydrated this time around. Normally after washing my face, I feel that my face is tighter but by the end of this week, what I've noticed is that my face just feel refreshed. It's not so tight. I don't feel like everything is squeezed together, you know. I think it's quite a satisfying result in terms of the hydrating part. Maybe because it is just a one week experiment, I really cannot see much improvement when it comes to my blemishes, when it comes to other pimple issue along the week. So um, I'm definitely going to stick to this routine to see how things goes. Okay, I decided to shift somewhere else to talk. Anyway, I want to say that there's actually other factors that may affect my skin condition as well such as the skincare products that I'm using, my H2O intake and my sleeping patterns. So when it comes to health, I'm someone who don't give a shit at all. But skincare products, I have to because money matters. So whatever that I'm using in this video are actually my first time use. And after using for 
quite some time. Some of them, I almost finished them already. Uh, uh, I feel that some of it doesn't really suit my skin at all. I know my skin condition improved after sticking to this routine, but I feel that these products are not good enough for my face at all, such as the Arby's Toner and Moisturizer. If I'm just using these two products alone, I don't think that they are good enough. Toner, I really have to apply 7 layers to get all the moisture in. Previously, I only apply 1 layer and it is not enough. But the moisturizer, I think it is okay. I just don't like the texture because it is actually quite sticky after applying. So, I have to wait for like 5 minutes before I can apply my makeup. You know, cause I don't want them to like... Yeah, and... For the peeling gel, I also don't think that it's my skin. For some odd reason, after using that, my skin actually kind of feel itchy. Don't know what the shit's going on inside that product, but yeah, it's not expired yet, okay? I checked already, but it's just nah. Okay, that's all I can say for my this entire skincare routine experiment shit. So I'm gonna end off here. I hope you guys enjoy my video and you guys learn something or two. And forgot to warn you guys something is what works for you might not work for me and what works for me might not work for you. I need to stop being retarded. Okay, so don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!